There's been a lot of requests for me to redo the uh, the omelette video um, and as mentioned earlier I'm rather going to put it onto the Instagram TV so that it obviously lasts longer and I'll probably post about a recipe a day if I can if I can keep up. I might take Sundays off. Um, last year or the year before last actually already um, I brought out my, my very own cookbook called Mile 8 which is uh, which is exactly where I caught my first fish when I was eight years old. Uh, and it's exactly eight miles out of Swakopmund from the post office. It's measured in miles going north up to the Skeleton Coast. Anyway, it's a book that means it means the world to me, and uh, and, and it's uh, it really is a very uh, a very sort of personal sort of account of why I cook and a, and a reminder why I cook to myself. And one of the things that 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 people don't know about me is that my my cooking career started cooking eggs every day. Um, I was a breakfast chef at the Tilbach Hotel in, in, uh, in Cape Town on the foreshore and, uh, and really um, the woman in the kitchen sort of uh, for the first year of my life sort of coaxed me through this thing and, and, and taught me all I know about cooking of breakfast dishes in, in general. Um, so I'm just going to show you how to make the omelette again, very very dead simple omelette and, uh, and it's just really about technique, about getting it light and fluffy and, and, and so forth. There's something that's called mise en place in the kitchen and uh, it's your preparation for service. And it, I think if you can sort of apply this to anything that you're doing, um, cooking becomes quite a pleasure and quite a joy. And, uh, uh, and essentially what you try and do is you try and get all your stuff ready instead of scrambling around in the kitchen um, while you're cooking and that's when things start burning and you start panicking and everything else. So basically, if you're making an omelette, you know, make sure you've got your eggs ready, make sure you've got your butter or your oil ready, uh, make sure your pan is out, make sure you've got all the equipment that you need, and once you're ready to go, then, then it's a lot easier and it's uh, less confusing and you don't put yourself under a massive amount of pressure, because we don't have pressure when we're cooking, we want to enjoy the cooking, as I'm about to do now. Anyway, so I'm going to quickly run you through the, uh, the ingredients. So, what we have here is uh, some tomatoes and chives from my garden and some parmesan cheese and that's what I'm going to sort of do on the on the side. I don't like putting my fillings into my omelette so I, I like having little things on the side so that's what we're going to do there. Um, I'm going to make a two egg omelette, a little bit of butter over there, okay, two eggs in there that we're just going to mix with a fork and, uh, and a touch of salt just to go. My equipment, I've got a little spatula and my happy spoon, very important. And, and a pan, which is about the size of my hand, which you want to use for uh, for a two egg uh, two egg omelette. Okay, so let me not be doing this whole video, and you can't actually see what's going on. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to get your pan nice and hot. Oops, you want to use also use the right the right flame. Just remember when you are using these uh, these gas burners. The middle of the ring here doesn't get hot, so the center of the pan doesn't get hot. So the outside of the pan gets hot, and, and then the middle doesn't doesn't get hot. And the big thing with when you're making omelets is that it's a very quick process. Once you're making it, it takes about it takes about 15 seconds, and then you and then you're done. So just warm up that. The other thing as well is don't have the flames licking the side of the pots or the pans that you're using. Just turn it down so that it's there we go, so that it's nice and even. And just keep moving the pan around to to get it nice and hot. Okay, while we're waiting, I'm just going to mix these eggs. Okay, and also, as I said before, when you when you are whisking the eggs and everything else, you don't have to stop putting water and milk and all those things into it. Just whisk it up. Just break it up enough so that you don't get any white strands when you're making the when you're making the omelet. Okay, so that's that's basically it. Still got a bit of texture. It's not. Right, there you have it. Ready for the pan. Just feel the pan as well. It's, and you can feel straight away it's nice and hot. All right. When you put the butter into the pan, the nice thing about butter is obviously the flavor is, is, is really, really nice. But the nice thing with butter is that um, it foams and bubbles. And you can see at what temperature it is. When you're using oil, um, the oil sort of starts moving around quite quickly in the pan uh, and the viscosity changes, it becomes uh, watery almost. 
um, but you don't want it to try and start smoking because then the omelet gets color and also when you are, are cooking the, 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 the omelet um, it gets it, it's, the, the proteins coagulate too quickly it goes too hard anyway long story short okay so in with the butter butter we can hear going just move that around a little bit I don't know if you can see that, but it's got a lovely, it's lovely firming, lovely bubble to it. But the, the very important thing is when you drop the egg into this into this pan, okay, it's got to start cooking straight away. Because otherwise, what happens is it starts sticking. Yes, it's a it's a uh, it's a non-stick pan, but um, okay. So in we go with the egg, and what you see here is the outside of the egg. Let's try and do that. The outside of the egg starts cooking quite quickly and you've got to keep pulling that in. All right, and you'll see as you pull it in, all right, that's, and I've just done this slower so that you can see how it, how it works. The very important thing is that you just keep the egg moving. Once it forms, you can see it's starting to form like a solid mass now. It doesn't want to, it doesn't want to. Then you leave it alone, okay? Just leave it alone. There, it's a nice, Okay, we're back. And basically you can actually move like a pancake. It loosens up beautifully. It's got a lovely body. It's got nice and fluffy. Just a touch of seasoning. Beautiful. Okay. Because the outside of the omelette is hot, or the, 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 the pan side of the omelette is hot, as you're rolling it, it will cook the inside. Okay, so again, it's light, it's fluffy. Okay, it's got beautiful texture. Let's try and get that in there. And now, all we have to do is we very quickly roll on the top. Okay. So just in there, just in the pan. Look at that. It's got a little bit of color, which I don't like, but anyway. But just look at that. And look at the shape of it as well. It's, <laughs> it's a beauty. And that's only two eggs. Look at that. Look at that beautiful shape on that. Okay. Hey everybody, uh, thanks for watching the watching the video. You might wonder what we are doing on YouTube and why have we, we got this channel. And as you see, um, all of this happened during lockdown. Uh, COVID-19 is where this, uh, this YouTube, channel, YouTube channel started. And, and one of the big things for me was to, uh, during this, this lockdown period, and especially being in the hospitality industry and owning a restaurant, was to be able to look after my team and my staff. And uh, basically we, we um, we have taken my book, Mile 8, and uh, all the sales and all the proceeds to the book are from the book and go to our, our staff fund, which is, which is pretty special. So you can go to the Marble, uh, Marble website and you can purchase your book there. Um, and I think that's just really where, where we are with this channel as well. I think whatever money is raised from this channel, um, obviously we, will, uh, we need to cover for, for production costs and, and, uh, and so forth of the, of the channel itself. But uh, a majority of the proceeds will also then go to a fund. And that fund is going to be ongoing for, uh, for yeah, it'll be ongoing after COVID and everything else. Because I think one of the biggest things that we realize is how vulnerable um, ourselves and our staff become in, in situations like this. So thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Tune in for the next one. Cheers, guys.